Melinda Messenger has revealed she is completely single but thinks it would be nice to start dating again. The TV presenter, 49, who parted ways with ex-husband Wayne Roberts in 2012, insisted she wants an equal relationship where she is not stuck playing speaking to OK. Magazine, she said, I'm completely single. I'm just starting to think it would be quite nice to I would love to meet somebody but I am quite shy so I would never make the first move. Make it monochrome like Melinda in a Balmain dress 1,599 pounds Balmain geometric midi dress shop the brand. Buy now if you want to make a statement on any red carpet, you need a little black or why not add some white tones in there too. In fact, go monochrome. Melinda Messenger did just that in this jaw-dropping Balmain dress during a Trick Awards as part of the Resort 2020 collection. The high-neck body contrast is knitted with a linear placement print that flatters the figure. Plus the silhouette is boasted with the brand's signature padded shoulders. The dress has now sold out, but in the carousel below you can shop a Balmain or stick to the high street with face 8 or mint velvet. Just make sure to complete the look with prices may not be as advertised. Now get one like it for less previous next 1,390 pounds Balmain knitted geometric pattern dress at Farfetch, now reduced to 834 pounds, buy now 89 pounds face 8 lowest dress, now reduced to 49 pounds, buy now 99 pounds mint velvet Jew dress buy now 26 pounds Dorothy Perkins geometric tiered flare dress, now reduced to 17 pounds, buy now I would like an equal relationship or I'm not doing them of I've learned it should be equal when it comes to looking after each other. I feel more open to dating now as the kids are all fine, it feels like the right time. The former glamour model admitted dating in the public eye comes with challenges, saying she worries she could attract the wrong type. Melinda is mother to Morgan, 20, Flynn, 19, and Evie, 17, and told how her children previously encouraged her to try out dating apps but she hasn't taken the plunge yet, saying she needs to get over her fear. The presenter insisted she and ex Wayne have a good relationship and the kids visited him regularly at his home in Devon before the coronavirus law. The star was most recently in a relationship with Chris Harding who she met on celebrity first dates in 2018 but later called it quits, with Chris admitting he was never keen on Melinda also discussed losing £250,000 back in 2010 when she invested her money in a business that went bust. She admitted, I went through the whole fear of how we were going to survive. But you find there is always- I had to learn everything about money and what it meant to me. Melinda explained she would give money away at the time because she didn't have enough value in herself and added it was a painful lesson. The model also revealed she is not that keen on ever getting married again as she is not a fan of the contractual element of it. Melinda previously detailed her struggle with other people's perception of her before retraining as a psychotherapist 10 years ago. Although Melinda says her TV career was still thriving at the time, she admitted she would have regretted it if she hadn't pursued. Speaking on Loose Women, she explained, In 2010, I started retraining. I thought, I have children, I have bills to pay. I was working in television and there was no sign of that letting up. I thought, I can carry on doing what I'm doing but how painful would that regret be? I made the decision to go for it and I've been practicing for the last five years and I can tell you, it's the best thing I've ever done. Explaining that it wasn't an easy decision to make, Melinda said, it's a bit psychologically, you have all these dependencies and that fear of change is huge. The star admitted that it had always been her dream to become a psychiatrist, however she was under the belief that she wasn't intelligent enough. She said, I hadn't started my own therapy before the training. As far back as I can remember, I remember being around 7 and thinking I wanted to be a psychiatrist. My mom said oh no you'd have to go to university, you can't do that. We take in these ideas of what we can't. When you start challenging those things, you notice that your life around you changes and those ideas you took as truths are opening up about her internal struggle. Melinda said, a lot of it is in and you can feel trapped by other people's ideas of you. That can be an internal struggle. But if you know that's just a perception and not the truth, it's still a challenge not to be held back by that. But you can still keep people will have ideas. The challenge is not to let the